Are you disappointed about not being selected for the diversity visa program? Don't lose hope because in this video, we'll explore your options and provide guidance on what to do next. So welcome back everyone. My name is Esther Reguavoyen. Today, we are addressing a very, very common concern among those who applied for the diversity visa lottery program, but we are not selected. If you find yourself in this situation, don't worry. There are still steps you can take to pursue your American dream. Firstly, remember that not being selected for the visa lottery program does not mean the end of your immigration journey. There are alternative pathways to living and working in the United States, such as getting um, a green card through family, that is if you are a relative of a US citizen or a lawful permanent resident, or if you are a fiance or fiancé of or fiancé of a US citizen, if you are a widow or widower of a US citizen, and also if you are a VAWA self-petitioner, that is an abused spouse, parent or child of a US citizen or permanent resident, you can also get your green card through this means. You can also get a green card actually through employment such as, you know, being an immigrant worker or an immigrant investor. You can also get a green card if you were granted, uh, if you were granted asylum status or were admitted as a refugee. You can even get a green card if you have a T uh, non-immigrant visa or a U non-immigrant visa because um, T visa actually provides immigration benefits to certain victims who assist law enforcement in the investigation or prosecution of human trafficking cases. Whereas U visa is for victims of certain crimes who have suffered physical or mental abuse and are helpful to the investigation or prosecution of the criminal activity. You can also get or start your journey to getting your green card through educational opportunities so you know there are so many options you can consider exploring other immigration options i mean i mean all these immigration options that i mentioned that aligns with your qualifications your skills and your personal circumstances you can research these various um, visa categories and eligibility requirements to determine which of these options may be suitable for you so don't give up on your dreams <laughs> living in the united states use this experience as a motivation to continue pursuing your goals keep yourself informed very very important about immigration updates and opportunities and also remain proactive in your efforts to achieve your aspirations one thing for you to have at the back of your mind always remember that the diversity visa program is conducted every year and it is free it is absolutely absolutely free to apply and of course i'll definitely keep you updated on the next entry um, period they usually start receiving applications from um, early october and end early november every year i think it's a period of one month every year so while not being selected for the diversity visa program can be disheartening it's heartbreaking i know it's also important for you to remember that there are alternative paths to realizing your american dream stay resilient explore your options and seek professional guidance if needed remember state <laughs> setbacks are just stepping stones to success thank you for watching and best of luck on your immigration journey even though on my channel i'm still going to guide you and give you more information as possible please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful and calm down your nerves share this video to who you think might need to hear what i just said and if you were not selected for the visa lottery program also let us know in the comment section below what your next next steps to your immigration journey to the u.s will be so guys stay charming stay fabulous stay healthy and stay blessed see you in my next video bye